Hello guys, welcome to Sexy Sunday Fun Day. How are you guys? Uh, welcome to Majestic Notion. Alright, collective, so we're going to see what the energy is like this Sexy Sunday Fun Day for those new subscribers or new watchers. Okay, um, this is Sexy Sunday Fun Day, meaning I talk about passion, sex, romance, love, all of the above so these are 18 and up just remember that I will be using the sexual magic tarot and another deck here tarot of forbidden dreams um, I will not be showing those images because they're explicit okay the tarot of forbidden dreams um, but everything else you know we will see you, you know you'll be able to see all right, so let's get into it, guys. All right, let's have a good time. Let's see what energy surrounds us, all right? And um, <coughs> please hit that like button for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here we go. The throat is getting ready here. Hey, now. <laughs> that just sounded so, so bad, especially doing a sexy Sunday fun day reading. Whew, okay. I don't know. As soon as I hit record, man, my throat starts acting up. It, that means something's getting get ready, getting ready to be said here. All right, guys, please hit that, smash that like button, okay? Subscribe if you haven't, of course, and hit that notification bell for those of you who want to know when my readings come out. And let's see what's going on. If you hear heavy breathing, it's part of some sound I have in the background. All right, spirit, let's see what's going on. Fulfillment. Oh, looks like sexual fulfillment right there. Okay. Somebody could be thinking about you. You could be thinking about somebody here. Number 35 could be someone's age. Could be significant. It's adding up to 8. Okay. So there could be some changes in your sexuality here. It could be due to a connection here, since we have the number eight. Okay, so there's some changes happening in someone's body. Okay, this could be both of your bodies within. Okay, three is the number of magnetism and attraction. So I feel like at this time, you guys, either somebody's calling you in there. Okay, because this person's laying down. They got candles. They're in the mood. Okay. They're thinking about you and wanting to maybe um, call you in. Whether it's um, hold on one second. Whether it's physically or in the astral realm. Okay. But someone is being summoned. Is what I'm seeing. Okay, that could also be a life path number, number eight. Bottom of the deck, yeah, we have choice. Number six, Gemini energy. Somebody's peeping, watching, looking, wanting to come to you. They find you very sexy, very alluring. Okay, so I feel like you're drawing your person in. It's something about the energy they're feeling called to you, drawn to you, and they want to make a choice. It's like, okay, do I just call them up? Do I just show up? Do I just, what do I do here? Like, I need to make this choice. I need to make this decision. Okay, there could be um, distance here with that six, but there's something about spiritual growth, some changes taking place. But I feel like somebody's really feeling you right now. They want you. Oh, yes. Let's see what else we got here. Now, it doesn't have to be a Gemini. I'm just calling out the energies that I see here. Okay, this could be, you know, you could have Gemini placements, or they do as well. One more shuffle, Spirit. And these are not for any specific signs, okay? They're for anyone who resonates. 
the fire of desire. Hello. Hot damn. Number one. Aries energy. The fire of desire. Okay, the moon is going into Aries. Full moon in Aries coming up. Okay. Depending on whether you go Vedic or tropical, doesn't matter. The energy is still the same and it still remains. Okay. So, yes, somebody definitely, they want to be next to you. Number four, Aquarius energy. Yeah, somebody wants, uh, somebody might want a vacation with you. They want to see what it would be like maybe to do it under a waterfall. You could, ha this could be a fantasy of yours. They want to see you soaking wet in more ways than one. They love to see your wet body. They want to see your body. I see you naked here, naked here, and in a bikini here. So this person is very visual. They're definitely picturing you naked or in as minimal clothing as possible. All right. The purity of freedom. They want to be free with you and sexually free with you. There could be a lot of bottled emotions here for you. Unexpressed desire and emotion here. Bottom of the deck, purity of purpose, Sagittarius energy. 31 adding up to another 4. 31 could also be significant. 4 could be someone's life path number. But it's like they're focused on you. You could be focused on your purpose or you both have a purpose together. Okay. Or you make this person feel like they have a purpose in life. Like, you know, not all is lost. It's beautiful. Somebody here loves your physique, especially your, your butt, your boobs, your navel. Somebody could have back dimples here. Somebody could be a fire dragon or a dragon sign, Chinese zodiac. Could be earth um, or water, air, yeah. You could be kind of... Um, like a force to be reckoned with as well. They could see you like that. Like you can get down and dirty, but you can also class it up. You're very, um, yeah, I'm hearing like angelic also. You have a rough, tough side, but you're also very sensual and angelic. You have the best of both worlds. It's almost like you, you know how to work through your masculine and feminine energy. Okay, this is very attractive. You could be down to earth, down and dirty, or you could class it up and be loving, sensual, charismatic. Beautiful energy. Very self-sufficient as well for some of you. Okay, for some of you it could be different. You know, some of you could be more tomboyish, like to work out, kind of like that Tomb Raider energy. And others of you could be angelic, but yet fiery at the same time, a little bit of sass. Some of you could embody all qualities. Beautiful. All right, let's get into the tarot here. Let's see what else we got. person could be definitely self-pleasuring here. <laughs> um, I see some pretty uh, intense orgasms because there's like, there's something about your energy that this person feels within. It's like a rush um, of passion. And I feel the, um, the climax is pretty intense at this time. Mm. I had my own personal thought there. Excuse me. <laughs> I ain't sharing. I ain't sharing. <laughs> All right. Eight of Swords. Yeah. You're always on my mind. You're always on my mind. 
I don't know who's saying that, but that just came to mind. <laughs> Hate of swords, always on their mind. Uh huh. Yep. The fire of desire. And there's that eight again, that surge. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I see the candles here again. So definitely somebody wants to, I feel, romance you, take you somewhere where they can explore every inch of your naked body and pass their hands through your legs and thighs. Okay? I'm, I'm seeing someone that wants to know what it's like to be in your arms, to lay with you, to be at peace, to inhale the scent of you. I see the pheromones going wild here. It's like they just want to have this moment with you, spend some time with you, and enjoy each other's energy and whatever luxury surrounds you, right? Comfort. You could be very comforting to this person. I just heard green pastures. Green pastures. Mm, healing vibe. Look at that. Look at that. They just feel at ease, at peace within your energy. They so want this healing love, this wish fulfillment, this fated to be written in the stars energy. Like this healing vibe that you have. It's so, it's enticing, it's like, it's almost like I'm feeling it's kind of hypnotic, it's, I see the, like, the fuzzy eyes kind of energy, like, it makes you feel like you're flying, like you're kind of high. I mean, look at that person's face, they're just like, oh, if only, if only, I want you out of my mind and into my life here. My goodness. Get one more here. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Will she accept me? Will she reject me? Or he? Can I make this happen? Can I court this person? What do I have to do to be with this person? How do I go about it? How do I pursue it? Hmm. Maybe you're a little mystery still to this person. Yeah, somebody loves your derriere. They want some sort of victory here. They can't stop thinking about it. They want more or they want in. I feel like they could look at your pictures. Again, you could be very angelic. We have a little dove here. Okay, they could feel divinely guided towards you. Okay. They want to reach out and touch you, that's for sure. They want to feel you, not just look at you, not just fantasize. They want you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, look at that. Yep, you have that nurturing vibe. Your intuitions are both calling each other is what I feel. They do love your breasts. They do want a motorboat. They want to know. Okay? They they want to do things there. <laughs> and you welcome them right in. Your energy is unmatched. It's it's like this person is definitely wanting your nurturing vibe, your energy, your your love. Queen of Cups is very loving. Very nurturing. They have a lot of love to give. Very healing. They want to feel like their body against yours. Especially your breasts. Yeah, they want to come over, you see? Drawing each other like a magnet. Okay, they find you very attractive. Yeah, they want to come towards you. Okay, they're in your gate. Looks like this is like your house. And then you're laying in bed here. And there's the cup of love right here. A 
I'm hearing, come on over, come on over, baby. Come on over. <laughs> they want to build something stable, solid with you. They need some sexual healing, definitely. Ooh, hello. Okay, I see some kinky stuff coming on over here. They could want to go dancing with you and, you know, drink a little maybe and and really indulge here. This is sexual indulging. Okay, somebody could could be kind of, you know, stiff, okay, for, for a long time. This is the long haul kind of energy. This is um, this kind of sex because it has a healing feel, a very nurturing feel, very loving feel, a lot of making love kind of energy, very passionate, very magnetic. It feels like it would be um, consuming, obsessive. Not in a bad way, but it's like two people that can't get enough of each other. Jeez. Very hot. It's like sizzling. Okay, I can see some toys being introduced here. Alright, down the line. Okay, down the line. But somebody right now, what they want is your energy. They want to be next to you, near you. They want to feel what it's like to be in your presence, whether it's for the first time or again. They want to know. They want this closeness. Yeah, oh, somebody's coming. The chariot. So we have Cancer energy, Scorpio Pisces, Cancer again. We have Aquarius energy, Capricorn energy. They want to come over. This person could like car sex as well. Yeah, they're coming to your house. And again, they want to check out those boobs. Are they real? <laughs> uh-huh. They might wear you out. You look a little tired there. Okay, or they're coming to see you astrally. Yep, some of them is astrally. Okay. They want to know what you got under them clothes for sure. You could maybe cover up nicely, but you maybe you maybe you accentuate your breast only, or something like that. But they want to know, especially high priest is coming out. What is this allure? This mystery. It's like so like you're also very. Um, intuitive okay and I feel like they want to pick your brain they want to uncover this mystery they want to know who you really are high priestess with the Queen of Cups I mean that's very very deep energy tapped in definitely a spiritual connection here they could want to secretly come see you okay as well for whatever reason or this is how they're feeling on the inside but not expressing it. They're, they secretly really want to come see you. Yeah, there they go. Busting through them doors. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Six of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, they can't fantasize about this anymore. So I just saw their full fantasy here. They came over. They're laying with you. They want to solve this mystery. They want to feel your energy. They want to feel your healing vibe, your sexual healing. Okay, they want to upset. They they could be obsessing, fantasizing. You know, obsessive fantasizing. They're self pleasuring. Yeah, but they just cannot just fantasize anymore. They want to court you. Okay, they're coming over here. They're coming over here. They're at your house here. They're coming over here, and they're coming over here. They're here. And they're reaching out here. Okay? They're on your couch here. They could they could think about you being with someone else that could bother them. I do see that there. So they're all they're all in their in their head about you. They it's the emperor. They want to make it a reality. They do. This person could be very romantic because we have the emperor with the knight of cups. 
Okay. They want to romance you and court you, that's for sure. All right, let's see what else we got here. Now, this one I won't be able to show you, okay, but I will, you know, I'll give you the tea about what's going on here, of course. tower I can show you that one we got the tower you make this person nervous also they want this victory but they are nervous and again with those explosive orgasms thinking about you hmm. yeah is it nine of swords definitely yeah this person oof. they have a heart on here yeah, they and they're looking at you here like you're like bringing them coffee and they are wanting you. This person really wants you, my goodness. I mean, good lord. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I can show you this one. If they're thinking about anybody else, they want to kick this person out of the out of the way. Or anybody that could be wanting you like they do. They want you. And you only, darling. Wheel of Fortune. They want to come over. They know this is destiny with the star. Fated to happen. Okay. Four of Cups. You came out of nowhere also for some of you. For this person. And trust me, they cannot unsee you. Uh-uh. Even if they try, because it's meant to be. Four of Swords. Ooh, yeah. They're definitely having wet dreams. Okay, they sleep with the devil. They could obsessively, like, masturbate. But when they sleep in their sleep, they're hard on, they're turned on. Okay. Definitely. They can't block you out, that's for sure. Even Not even if they tried. Strength. Oof. I can't show you this one. My goodness. Yep. They they want this victory. They want they want to be inside you. Mm-hmm. For sure. Eight of Cups. They're walking away from something that definitely does not turn them on anymore. <laughs> I can describe what's going on here. There's like a cherub holding their penis up with like a, some sort of pick because they can't get it up. So if there's anybody in their life, for some of you, or they've tried dating or sleeping with anybody else, it's not working for them. They only want you. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they could have went through a betrayal and they want your healing energy. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, whatever that was, that's over. Yeah. Three of Wands. Yeah, they're at a distance thinking about you. Mm -hmm. They could be fantasizing about like threesomes, that's for some, but they they have you in their arms, you're the one that they want. You know, you can't help your dreams or your fantasies sometimes. It just kind of pops up. But I see that here. Eight of Swords in their head again. <laughs> oh, this person's all about you. Oh, yeah, they want you to sit on it. My goodness. These are so explicit. 
completely turned on. They want you to sit on it. They want to come over and they want you to sit on their lap. Uh -huh. They want to tell you some type of truth with justice. They want to bring you justice. Yeah, the chariot. They definitely want to come over. Ooh, Ace of Wands. My goodness. Uh-huh. This person is super hot. Ooh, the devil with the Ace of Wands again. My God. Just show you briefly. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the Ace of Cups. Jeez. You can't tell me this person don't want it. Damn. Yeah, they want to be in their cup. <laughs> They want to put out this fire, and it's only you that's going to put it out. My goodness. Whew. This person could be falling in love here. They want you very badly. Okay. Let's get into my sexcapades, wicked games, oracle. Hold on one second. All right. Three shuffle spirits. This, this loves to come out leave those red bottom heels on so this person may want they may like stockings they may like you to be in heels sexy lingerie and they want to do you this way okay somebody wants to get it in darling they want this victory absolutely they admire you as well yep magical elixir I feel like I'm spellbound by your love yeah, I told you that fuzzy eye, fuzzy feeling, like, this person is just, like, constantly thinking about you. Eight of swords, nine of swords. They're walking away from, I don't know what, whatever they have to, to come to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they got betrayed here with someone else because it says um, playing the field good times choices and decisions so they could have been playing the field and got betrayed by somebody here or the person they were with was playing the field you know playing them behind their back wow but that is over how could I not be turned on by you yeah they're completely turned on by you devil with the four of swords they they lay there and think about you oh boy mm. it doesn't like I said it doesn't matter if somebody else is around them or they go went out on other dates I do feel there's some sort of distance here between you and this person like physical distance but um it doesn't matter who they're dating it's you they have their eye on but you make them nervous so they haven't like you know come to you because they're so nervous but they do want to boy they gotta overcome this fear yeah they don't know what you taste like so it says I bet you taste like paradise uh-huh so we'd leave those heels on this person wants to go downtown mm. you're everything I've ever dreamed of so you are the catch. Everything they've ever dreamed of. There's a deep connection here. Definitely. On the kitchen table, the only thing I'm hungry for is you. You see? With playing the field? Okay. No. They only want you. And they'll take you on the kitchen table? They'll take you anywhere. This person definitely is going to have a lot of stamina when you guys come together because there's so much pent, pent up sexual energy 
Okay, so they're probably going to self-pleasure before they come see you. Because if not, it would be, you know, <laughs> they would be a one-minute man with all this sexual tension. Okay, but after that, you know, after that initial clearing, <laughs> let's just call it that, they're in it for the long night. <laughs> okay, just saying. Yeah, I'll take you right here out in nature. <laughs> I'll take you right here out in nature, baby. Anywhere. They just want it. They want you, of course. Um, there, you just there's just a surge of passion, man, that they can't. Yeah, woo, bottom of the deck, enter the vortex. This pussy's transformational. It's that healing vibe. You got the healing vibes. Only you can. That only you can have with this person. Yeah. We didn't come all this way for me to let you go. So there could be like growth taking place separately here between the two of you. And they see you as freedom. I'm not here to take your freedom. I am freedom. Or they are freedom. Okay. You're here to be free together. You could liberate this person. It's that kind of feeling. And yeah, I got skills, and I'm not afraid to use them. This could be you. This could be them. This could be the two of you. Mile High Club? Yeah, there's travel here. Or they want to travel with you. They could be a part of the Mile High Club, or they want to do this with you. And yeah, they're like, I'd give you the key to my house. <laughs> Alright? I feel like they, when they walk in, they want to see you there. And they want to take full advantage of you sexually in a good way of course yeah I'm feeling faded and thirsty for you this person could smoke cigars maybe they drink a little wine a little cognac and they think about you and they think about how many licks does it take or you and I will take you in this lifetime in all lifetimes so definitely somebody's very, very into you. It is uh, meant to be, whoever this is. Let's get into my manifest deck. I've made love to you in my dreams. I can't wait to make it a reality. Yeah. <laughs> Excited to finally meet you, getting to know each other, taking it to the next level. So this is a secret admirer, a crush, uh, but it's somebody you're in deep connection with, okay, spiritually. Definitely. That's why they're wondering. I bet you taste like paradise. Hmm. I know I must speak the truth about how I really feel. Clarity, conversation, speaking my mind. With your everything I've ever dreamed of. Magical elixir, I feel spellbound by your love. This person at first could have been like, damn, did, am I so, under some sort of spell? But it's you. It's the connection that makes you feel that way. There you go, I am awakened spiritual awakening awaken to this connection and seize it for what it is beautiful you could be awakened to this connection as well is what I'm seeing yeah you light up a room when you walk in your presence demands attention you are simply alluring yeah you're a butterfly so definitely you are awakened here they love your presence or they know that when you walk in 
you could have this presence. Also, I see that they have a very strong presence. And a lot of people are very attracted to this person as well. Okay? Um, but you both could embody this energy. They definitely find you very attractive. So they do hear your voice somehow, some way, or you hear their voice. Okay, hearing your voice drives me wild. Also, we have telepathy, thoughts, face to face while making love. This is the kind of person that's going to like to hear, like, moaning in the ear. They want to make sure that you're being satisfied. They want to hear it. Okay? This person plans on pleasing you, for sure. Yeah, you're an extremely desirable woman or man. I get turned on by the very thought of you. Yep. They do. Ooh, they would like to work with you. Okay. Lucky streak, abundance, you're hired. Work it out. So this could be, uh, you know, big boss energy here that wants to, they could have their own business. They want to work with you, give you an opportunity. All right, so they might come to you in that way because you do make them very nervous. But they know there's a deeper connection here. They've definitely never felt like this type of connection. It draws them in in a very specific and different way. In a very spiritual, very sexual, very magnetic way. They want to work with you. This person's going to take their time. They want to see what it's like to be around your energy. There's going to be a lot of sexual tension here. A lot of flirting. A lot of getting to know you slowly um, because this person's very nervous, okay? And they want to make sure they're not making a mistake. And they're going to be watching you. <laughs> they're going to be looking at you up and down, fantasizing even more. But then, but they finally, if you work with them, they have you right there where they can see you. Okay, yeah. Look at this with the devil. I'm completely obsessed and addicted to all that is you. I love your scent, your touch, your caress. I got it bad. Yeah, I feel like those are those 5D visitations. Okay? For some of you, you may be attracting more than one person as well. You got it bad. Na, 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 na. Echo, echo, right back. Something like that. Oh, sure. You got it bad. Mm. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, I dream of you constantly. Astral travel. Dream connection. 5D visitations. Spiritual orgasms. That's the wet dreams, right? Dream revelations. Soul merging. It's how I know you're the one. So they know... You're their yin to their yang and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Wow. They dream of you a lot. With the four of swords, we saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So they made love to you in their dreams, and they want to make love to you. Feeling romantic, daydreaming, and thinking of you. So they must have been dreaming about you, like, for very recently. Yeah, will you go out with me? A weighted message arrives, wants to get to know you. Probably to talk about this opportunity. Okay, but they're going to be checking you out. I don't see how you, you know, there's no mistaking what's going on here deep within. But you guys are going to try to play it off like there's not a spiritual connection here. <laughs> that should be interesting. I'd love to be a fly on that wall. <laughs> yeah. Lovers. The lovers. That's like the lover's card with the star. There is no one like you. I feel this fire in my veins and in my soul. I can't get away. Okay. There it is. Yeah, they're like, how can someone like you be single? Admiration and awe of you. I love your strength, your confidence, and how you carry yourself. So, yes, they admire the shit out of you. This is a lovers. This is um this could be feminine, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. 
yeah they they want to send you or they're sending you lots of kisses they want to flirt with you getting to know each other and dating which we saw here will you go out with me okay I see a lot of flirtatious energy a lot of kissing and they are faithful empathic loving and giving get their giver yeah I would love the chance to speak with you reaching out message text email I might actually call okay however you know that works okay they could slide into your DMS and or look for your email somewhere wherever they're watching you from yeah remember I said they think about somebody getting in the way here before they have the chance to actually reach out to you they can't stand thinking about the possibility of you being with someone else okay they're scared that you might have options all right for some of you yes they were stuck in another situation but that's over if that's the case that's for some yeah they've done research on twin flames so they do feel we have tarot readings books or internet so they do feel this connection with you and that's what I feel it is here the devil in this scenario is the obsessive thinking and wanting you okay that's what that this is here it's not like the bad lovers this is a good connection yeah exactly they find you very magical you're magical I've never met anyone like you magical sorceress healer manifesting your dreams so you're manifesting each other you're very connected and I want to talk to you so bad I'm working up the courage to tell you how I feel that's because they're really nervous they're not sure if it will be reciprocated unnecessary worry contemplating what to say so the swords down it's like they're they're thinking about what they're gonna say to you yeah manifesting each other into your lives as above so below unconditional love sexual healing connected at the seams eternal flame definitely okay could be opposites attract here for some of you could be your sister sign all right but this is two people coming into union with with themselves right because we have awakening here spiritual awakening so that this union can take place beautiful let's see what else we have here it's a very hot and steamy reading I'm gonna use my shower hour and decent proposals deck here and there is a card here what it, what card is that yeah <laughs> I'm feeling the magnetic pull of wanting to be by your side yearning for you I want to see you can we talk definitely they're feeling that energy and what's that I want I want you in the most inappropriate times yeah I'm telling you this person just I think they're a walking erection <laughs> and I just can't hide it yeah <laughs> definitely wow yeah their body's calling for you and they can't even help it let's do three shuffle spirit one Two. and one more oh love affair dirty thoughts dirty secrets dirty desires so they they this, this is a kind of person that was definitely keeping you hidden within themselves because they were with someone else okay there wasn't a love affair here but they did have it's like they were quietly silently figuring this out and trying to understand why they felt so drawn to you why they can't keep get you out of their mind why they keep going to your page or watching you or looking at your pictures however this is um, and you know they just can't get you out of their mind it festers because I feel this is somebody's twin okay 
Yeah, horny devil. <laughs> With you are an extremely desirable woman or man. Your eyes and your touch make my blood pressure rise into an inferno. Body tremors. Whew. So if there's some 5D visitation going on here, you got this person fiending. Okay. But when you guys come together, okay, I I feel like this person has woken up in, in like actual sweats, like sweating um, after an encounter with you in the 5D. Um, but when you guys come together, expect this body tremors, this super like, I, I bet when you guys are around each other because of all this pent up passion, you're, you're going to feel this passion. There's no way it's not going to be like emanating from your soul here for both of you. Oh, this must be that Aries moon bringing out this fire, bringing out the fire within. Yeah, I fear I will have no control of myself around you. And guess what that's falling under, guys? I would like to work with you. You're hired. They fear that even if they give you a chance, they're not going to be able to control themselves. Because they're going to be watching you. Okay? It says, I'll take you here. <laughs> the only thing I'm hungry for is you. They're going to be looking at you. Okay? In the break room, uh huh, they're gonna be picturing you naked and picturing uh, what they want to do to you right then and there. And if you, some of you already started working together, trust me, this person wants you badly. But they know it, okay? They know if once they take this step and give you this opportunity, um. Because, you know, obviously, it's your twin flame. They want to know what it's like to, to be around you. They, they, they know if it's this intense without being around you, they could just picture, my goodness, how intense it would be to be in your presence all the time, especially during work. Oof, my goodness. And if, if, if for some of you, this is somebody you happen to meet your twin at work, my God, that person's suffering in silence. <laughs> Both of you could be. Yeah, the sizzle is real. Oh, let me put this back where it was here. The sizzle is real. Hands down, the best I ever had. With I'm completely obsessed and addicted to all that is you. Okay. So, it's going to be very obsessive here. Very obsessive. I'm so thirsty for you. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dirty thoughts, dirty secrets, dirty desires. I fear I have, will have no control over myself around you. Your eyes, your touch make my blood pressure rise into an inferno. The sizzle is real. Hands down the best I've ever had. Absolutely. Okay. For some of you, this could be a soulmate. Yeah. Soulmate lovers. It says it's complicated. Could become complicated for whatever reason. All right, especially if we're trying to like hold ourselves back from a soulmate here while we're working with them. That's definitely complicated, yeah, because my heat-seeking moisture missile is seeking you. Are you ready? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, the watcher. I like to watch you undress. I also like to watch you dance. This is what they fantasize about you. It's what they want to see. Yeah, and they can watch you move all day and all night person is like whew. yeah they want to lick you with hardcore intention a b c you know what that means they want to make you scream yeah no inhibitions letting it all hang out yeah they want to see you naked they want to be naked oh yeah all right let's clean this up a little and get you some 
Lover's Lane <laughs> Oracle messages here. And again, for some of you, um, you, you sparked the interest of a couple people here, but you're connected, you're connecting to someone specific. For some of you, there's somebody else could be obsessing over you. Okay. So the and and whoever this person is has that fear. Okay. Doesn't mean you're gonna entertain it, but I do see somebody here that could be um, watching you as well. One more shuffle. So that other person that I see for some of you, um, you might reject that person. They could be maybe a little bit toxic, okay? But it and it could have been somebody you entertained in the past, maybe for some of you, and they're still obsessed. They they feel like you're the best they ever had, okay? And they want you. That could be the person that's um, thinking about the whole threesome thing and you know constantly masturbating also that's for some of you because I do see that all right let's see what else yeah <laughs> there you go you got more than just one crush can't make it up all right two people really uh, wanting you badly here yeah this one is the one that wants to wine and dine you I like to wine and dine which I see here ace of pentacles with all this luxury someone romantic that's that emperor energy with the knight of cups a horny devil okay that's the one saying you're everything I've ever dreamed of okay you're an extremely desirable woman they know they need to sp speak up your fantasy made reality yep so it's almost like they dreamt you up I'm hearing that movie which I haven't I, I've, I've tapped into this energy before and I haven't heard it in a while that movie weird science where they met they made two like 16 year old or whatever they were made their their um, fantasy woman come to life through like magazine pictures and this computer stuff uh, weird science that was a really beautiful beautiful woman I feel like they see you in that way because you're a fantasy made reality I work hard but I always make room for what's important to me That could be you as well. You work hard and you make room for what's important to you as long as it's coming from the right place. Okay? But also I see that within this person. I'm a family man or woman. So they are a family man. You could be a family woman. I am here through the good and the bad. Yeah. So this is a stand-up person here coming at you. destined to meet you and I are very possible yep so it's not just fantasy yeah more than like what I see with how can I not be turned on by you okay so somebody is there is somebody else here obsessed with you why are you so obsessed with me bottom of the deck I'm not planning on letting you go so whoever else is watching you thinking that they can come in and come in between you and this person and uh, he's like hail to the no I'm open to dating different types of people you could be different okay you could be a different race you could be just uh, different as far as you know what you do how you dress you know like I said some of you this is opposites attract kind of energy it could be a different age gap here I love and they love that you are different and unique okay so this is somebody open-minded 
very good, and they are a very passionate lover. You could be as well. Homebody, let me be your cuddle bear. We saw this here. They want to cuddle with you. They want to feel your energy. They're happy to be right next to you, talking, you know, pillow talk, getting to know one another, enjoying your company in your arms, you know, completely into each other. Look at that. So you know, you know what's up. Yeah, I want to taste those lips. I'll leave that to your imagination. Mm -hmm. And you're a little slice of heaven. So you're like an angel to this person. That's what I was saying here. That energy you bring makes you even more beautiful or handsome. It's your energy. They love your energy. They love your essence. I feel a sense of alignment and intimacy with you. Yeah. They do. They That probably what scares them. Maybe they're not used to being intimate with someone. And what they have with you is definitely intimacy. Could be very tantric as well. Yeah, chivalry is not dead. I am a gentleman. So they will treat you like the gem that you are. And you are so exotic to me and it drives me wild. Very, very attracted to you. So definitely you could be very exotic. I talk about you to my friends and family. And you inspire them. You inspire me. You are the high priestess, so that's what they see. They're a bit of a rebel, but with a cause. Alright. So yeah, they can get in their own way sometimes, I'm sure. Especially with their thoughts. They're an overthinker. But you are just their type. How could you not be? You're spiritually connected. This is beautiful. Alright guys, I don't think I want to mess this up, but this is good. This is good. Alright. Let's just see one thing here. What position they want you in, huh? What do they want to do to you here? Let's let's do it with the stand-up guy, the gentleman here. I'm not too sure about that other person. All right, we have neck and ears, bite and thigh. So they want to definitely get bite your neck. They want to get around your ears and kind of nibble on your ears, and they're going to want to bite your inner thigh, you know, softly and gently, of course. Okay. And let's see, what about... Um, position I mean where where do they like to do it because I see somebody adventurous wanting to do it outside let's see oh closet this person could even be in the closet not this person somebody else here we have closet so there could be a bisexual person into you uh, let's see what else with that person that's a fifth for those of you that um, there's two people here could be somebody you already know there. Okay. Yeah, they like it rough. Thighs and lips. Yeah, this person definitely wants to put it in your mouth, okay? <laughs> and we have stairs. So they want to do you on the stairs. Thighs and they want to do it rough. I don't really care for how this person's coming. And yeah, lips. So you have somebody that's kind of kinky, maybe into a lot of things. That's the threesome guy that's fantasizing about, about, about you. You're the best they've ever had. But they're really kinky, very explorative sexually. But this other person is like a gentleman. Somebody that has yet to come to you because they are, um, they're nervous. But this is that you have one really good person here. I feel you have a, you know, that could be a soulmate. And then you had somebody here that either you dealt with in the past or they had a crush on you in the past and nothing ever happened because you're always focused on 
your work and your career. Maybe you don't even notice that person. They notice you. Okay. Now, they're saying you're the best they've ever had, though. So, for some of you, yes. You you already had this. You, you, you Maybe it was a one-night, not a one-night stand, but maybe it was a booty call. You are the best they ever had. Or they want to be the best you've ever had for some of you. Because they, they more than like what they see. So I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave that to however that resonates for you. But that person, because you do have more than just one crush. Maybe they want to be the best you've ever had. And that's, their, that's the issue there. But they're really kinky. Alright, so I, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe that, that would be like really good sex, but that's it. But here, you have somebody that wants to treat you right. They want to take their time. They want to give you an opportunity. This person is like full of passion and love that they want to give you and bring you. Um, and that's the one you have a spiritual connection to. And um, whether it's soulmate or twin flame, you know. Um, yeah. And they're here through the good and the bad, not just for kinkiness. So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Let me see. Let me get a. Let me get some. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I just picked this up and it came out a freaking kinky. So that's a confirmation that there's a kinky person here <laughs> with chemistry. Yeah, you could have had chemistry with that person. Maybe it's a past person. But yeah, you're like, nah, man, return to sender. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad juju there. Spirit's like, nah, you don't want that one. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Let's see what's going on with this one, the one that's nervous. Hold on, let me just get a few cards. The gentleman, spirit, the gentleman, what's going on here? The family man that likes to wine and dine here. You take my breath away. You do. You definitely do. And yes, they want to know what it feels like to be around your energy. So this is the one you haven't explored yet. This is a good one right here. One more. Okay, I got two more. Yeah, I can't get you out of my mind. <laughs> Yeah, and again, they can't help but to wonder what life would be like with you. Okay? So this person is serious. All right? They they really do like you. Now, let's see what's going on over here with this devil. Sneaky devil trying to sneak into the reading, huh? That's that's what it was. They snuck in there. Like, oh, don't forget it. I'm here too. Little sly fox over here. They thought they were going to get away with being sly. I caught their ass. I saw them. <laughs> Yo, you blocked this person's energy. I feel like you blocked me energetically. <laughs> or blocked them in general, okay? And then we have a new person. Yeah, Spirit is saying, go with the new person, not the past. That's what I'm getting here. So that is a past. That You know that devil. <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah, go with the new person. You have an online crush. Okay, you, so you, you could know who this person is, definitely. Yeah. Says, I wonder, is it, I wonder. Is it just as good as it is in my dreams? Uh-huh. That's the person that has made love to you. So they must know that you... This person is doing their research. They must know that you have a little devil somewhere in your past. You know, we all do, right? And they they don't want that person near you. Okay? They think about that. So they know a little more about you than you know here, than you might know. Yeah. 
I want to do things for you that I never felt inspired to do for anyone else. You and we do have you inspire me. We saw that. It was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that is your soulmate or your twin flame. Are you my soulmate? Because it's deja vu when I saw you. Yeah. So there it is, guys. Now we get it. Now it's clear. This slide box kink. That pearl and kinky. I don't know what they into, but they into a lot. <laughs> you know. Hey, you know. To each his own, but you know. I don't know that that's trouble over there. They got the devil there. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. Or Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, or they could have those placements in their chart. But whoever that is, you know that devil's. They like it rough, they're kinky. This one will treat you better. And there's still a horny devil. There's still a lot of passion and chemistry here. But it's not just kinky. It's it's it hitting at all levels. Hitting all the right spots here. Okay? You know. Here. Alright guys. That's what I have for you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. And thank you for watching Sexy Sunday Funday. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.